Hello everyone, QC Runner for QC Runner Games, and I am back today with an episode of American Dad. As we mentioned in the last video, we have a visitor out front. We have the Pearl Bailey Challenge starting today. So my goal of this video is to talk about this talk about this event and go in and get some items and cover the giveaway and one other additional thing. So I'm just gonna jump in and try not to drag this out too long. There are some people that seem to like the longer videos, some that don't, so um, We'll see how this one goes. I did mention that there was a, uh, where we go here, a Haley mini game coming up and people have been asking about that. Uh, I haven't seen it yet, to be honest. It looks like it's still coming, so it'll be something that'll be coming in the future. So we are uh, need to keep our eyes open on that one. So that's not there yet. Um, one other item I wanted, I wanted to throw out there real quick. People have been asking, you know, off and on throughout the months um, and year, I guess, if I can add like, you know, subtitles and translations and stuff like that to the videos. And I've just recently been exploring that and trying it out on some of my videos. I think I've done one Hustle Castle that way, one Zero City, maybe two Zero Cities. I'm just kind of trying to get a feel for um, if people like that. So what I've done so far is like just translated the titles and the description for the videos in a few different languages and um, took the subtitles and added a few different subtitles. It's my understanding that YouTube, YouTube automatically translated those for me and you know, there's like eight common languages. Excuse me, but it didn't seem like those were happening. I'm guessing it's because my videos were too long. So I went in and added a couple of those recently. So I'm gonna do that to this video as well. And I'll just do a couple different languages. Um, I haven't had anybody request anything in this game yet, but in Zero City, Portuguese was asked for, um, German, there's a lot of German viewers, and there's also a lot of Russian um, players as well. So those are the three I've been um, translating so far. And it's not me doing the translations, I basically just take the take the translation, the English translation that comes out of the YouTube upload of the video, throw it in Google Translate, and then post it back with you know different, different translations. So it's not gonna be perfect, it certainly isn't, but um, some people have asked for it. So anyway, long story short, let me know in the comments if that is something that you're interested in, if that's something you would take advantage of, and if it is, what language it is. And on the other side as well, um, you know, obviously if you're English speaking, it doesn't really make a difference, but if you find it to be useless and get in the way, if it's, you're not gonna use it, then you know, don't worry about telling me, but if you do use it and it's not very good, let me know that as well, because it does take a, a considerable amount of effort for me to add these in there, and I'm happy to do it as long as it's useful and people will use it, but if it's not, then I'm not gonna do it. So anyway, let me know in the comments or Discord, or wherever, wherever you can reach me, and just let me know if this is useful, and if it is, if it's something that you want, let me know what language. And if you cover, if you, um, if you participate in the other games that I cover as well, Zero City and Shelter War and Hustle Castle, let me know about those as well. And then, you know, I'll, I'll work on getting a list of languages as long as I keep this, and then I'll do those translations every video. Okay, more important things. Well, I guess that's important too, but more exciting things. Uh, we had the giveaway, we just ended. So let me go ahead and pop up the winners to the recent giveaway here. So as always, the American Dad Facebook page supplies the um, golden turds for each of our winners. So we got 500 golden turds, so 10 winners. The winning number this week was 197,919. And the 10 closest people were Nasir, Andrea, Burns, 337, Dizal, Lil J, and X225, Sneaky Satan, Nergy, Papa Tomelo, Tudo, and Fairy. Congratulations, you each won 500 golden turds. Those should be out in the next day or two. Those will show up as an in-game uh, in mail that we usually get. And at the end of this video, I'll go ahead and announce the next giveaway, same thing we always do. So um, thank you uh, everybody for participating. And I don't say it too often, but um, you know, if, if you know others that might be interested, please share the game to them and let them know about the giveaways because the more people we get participating, the more growth we get, you know, the better it's gonna do for the channel, the better you know, hopefully we can do for giveaways in the future. That's, that's a long-term goal to give back more to you guys as well. All right, so the game, the event, the Pearl Bailey Challenge. This is pretty much what we covered. Um, there was a question out there, it was like, how come I'm releasing a uh, event preview video after the event goes live? And unfortunately, the reason for that is I'm not allowed to release any of this information before the event goes live um, if we wanna continue to supply the golden herds for the giveaways. So I'm, I'm working on that and trying to get that changed because obviously that's not useful for me, it's not useful for you, and 
those videos are very popular on my channel. It's just I can't do that for this game right now at this point. So that is the reason it came out afterwards. I have it all ready to go. So once the event goes live, I publish it as soon as possible. Um, but my goal is to get those out there before so you guys can actually know what's going before, before it's going to happen. But what I did cover in there is basically what we have. We have the Pearl Bailey Challenge. And what that is is you know we got the principles pass which we can go ahead and buy you can buy the the ten dollar version or the twenty dollar version for me anyway and if you get the ten dollar version you get that second row which we'll take a look at in a minute and if you buy the twenty dollar version you get that second row plus you get a 15 plus 15 levels i went ahead and bought the ten dollars because for me i'm not one who gets super far and three extra levels the chance of getting anything good in those is pretty small so 10 extra bucks for have a, having a small chance to get something for me it's not worth it so i never get that i never get that second pass but i always get the first one i think it's a good deal you get a lot of good stuff and it supports the game which i i think is important because it's fun it's something i enjoy and i want to continue to support the game so they can continue to push out content so what we have here let's go ahead and look at our special rewards I didn't exactly get all of them right of what what everything was, but all of the pictures that we saw are all here in in the uh, in the special rewards. And I, I was wrong. This is the backpack. This is not the uh, the new pet. This looks like here's our new pet right here. It's a legendary. We've got Pearl Bailey's mascot. So we got that for our pet, and then we got the amulet and the ring that we talked about, which are really good, really good. But unfortunately, as we, as if you don't know from previous events or from other games. The chance of getting these drops here, these unique rewards, are extremely low. Um, I've done, I think I got one in American Dad last time, but you know, I've done these challenge type events in multiple games many times. It's probably been over 10 challenge events, plus I had multiple counts, so maybe even 15. I don't know, I've done a lot. And I've only gotten like one or two of these special rewards in total out of all of those. So for me, I don't expect to get any of these ever because it's just a really low drop rate. And if you're one of those people that get out to like level 200, sure, you're going to get, or even beyond because people get way beyond that, sure, you're going to probably get everything. But for me, somebody who gets to like level 80 to 120, I'm not going to get most of those. And I'm okay with that because I got lots of other good stuff. So here's the um, this blue path up here. This is the free to play path. And then if you go ahead and buy that, that's the $9.99 or the 20 20 10 or 20 dollar entry you get the second path you get lots of good stuff so go ahead and click on these i don't remember where they were so here's the one of jinxing your target and and then we got the engineering um armor to go with it once this unit is killed resurrects a random ally which i do like that so i'm uh i'm interested in that one um my squad is still only three level 100 so that's uh, that's the balance i have to do of i don't know if i want to quote unquote wasted engineer at level 100 when i have a bunch of 85s um so i'll have to look at that and then we got these chests here obviously for and here's your chance to get these drop rates which again very low they don't tell us what it is but it's very low um here's this weapon this is the one i'm really looking forward to because i want to get this in my armor my army right now i do want to get a second um gunslinger in the back and i want to use this weapon so this has a chance to do damage to a group and then a chance to stun, and if the enemy is killed, summons a minion who attacks having a stun effect. That one, I, I am looking forward to getting that one for sure. And then this armor as well, I want to get. So each hit steals 6% of the target's max. And this is one I'm actually using on my Hustle Castle team right now. So, And I see a lot of top people, at least in the past, where I haven't, I haven't looked lately. But So this is definitely a good one, plus a lot of good damage. I want to get this one going, and I'm going to get a second level 100 archer in my squad. We have this right here, which is champion's chest. I have. I just realized I have two of these in my inventory. So I gotta open these up one of these days. And I'm actually waiting for a moment. I was just gonna go ahead and get them and see what I have, but I think I'm gonna wait until SR11 comes out. But go, because when it comes out, I'm hoping they add some extra stuff in here because there's a material that you need to really be, to make things at the next um, situation room, which isn't in the game yet. It hasn't even been announced, but I'm sure it's coming because it's in a hustle castle. And, it's possible the really good stuff that I need might be added to this chest. So I don't want to open it yet if there's a chance of me getting that really good stuff. So I'm going to hold off on that until then. 55, here we got our, our tank up here. I'm attacking, 17% chance to teleport. This is one I always, I always struggle with because I usually run one tank. And my tank's job out front is to absorb damage. And if he goes ahead and leaves, they're going to go attack somebody else. So I like this weapon. I like the idea of it, but it doesn't work with my setup. 
But this here, when critically low, makes him invulnerable. That's huge because everybody runs that one in Hustle Castle. We get Legendary Health. Fantastic. Definitely going to be getting that one. And this is just a random arena, more than most tournament weapons. So that's an extra powerful weapon. So that'll be good. And then we got all of those. So let's go ahead. Oh, what's this one? Look at this one. It's 45 here. Legendary Morning Mimosa Artifact. Ooh, a new artifact. A good artifact, as a matter of fact. So yeah, let's go ahead and open up. So what I did, this been, we've been going on for two days so far. This is a, a three-week process. So I've got all my dailies done today. I got them all done yesterday. Gone through my weeklies. And since I did buy the pass, I get this extra... Uh, rewards up top and that's one of the reasons also that it's worth it because you get all the items down below plus you can earn a lot more um, apples just by playing the game because you get these extra bonuses here so i got the weekly reward already uh, i've gotten through um morning mimosas quite a few of those two of the five and then we'll get this done on the weekend so we'll get we'll get the entire uh, weekly pass done here but with everything I've done and all of those, this is what I've gotten. So I'm gonna go ahead and just claim them all. There's really no reason to, to wait. In the past, I've usually waited on this guy until the very end. I don't think there's necessarily a reason to do it. So I'll probably just go ahead and open them up. I'll make it the last thing I do today, but um, I don't know that there's really a reason to do it. You know, you guys who have followed me for a while know about my theory about, you know, some RNG, logic and theories about the chances of hitting some of the big things and i don't know if that's true in american data i don't know if it's true in anything as that matter um but it seems that there is something like once you come into the screen it sets your random number generator you know probability of the of what you're going to hit if you're going to hit a high a medium or a low i actually have five different scales in my head and it seems to be consistent. So if you hit something big, you can hit multiple big things. So if you hit bad stuff, you get multiple bad stuff. So I usually back out and then come back in. You know, like I usually say, there, it could be nothing because that's just what random numbers do. You know, and the human mind makes you makes you think you see patterns all the time. So that's yeah, more than likely nothing. But for some reason in my head, I think it is. So I usually follow that plan. So anyway, the reason for telling that story is if I get a bunch of those chests, I can go ahead and open those all up at the end following that approach so if i get one good thing i can hopefully get lots of good things um all right well i'm not dismissing all of these this time because usually it's legendary or nothing but my goal and when i start leveling up my fighters to 100 is i'm going to try to put the best gear on the people regardless of level so you know if i have somebody that's going to have a an uncommon um ring that gives me as much, almost as much damage as a legendary ring. I'm gonna probably put that one on because it's gonna give my team less power. So it makes me more compact and it makes me more efficient, which is gonna be a strength versus power idea that I'll be talking about at some point. I've been, I've been promising that for a long time. And I just never have time to get to it. So um, once I get that that um, idea in my head, I'm gonna post it on all my channels. So I've started the research, I've started started getting it uh, ready, but it's just not there yet, so. But anyway, the point was, I'm not disassembling all of these small items, I'm not getting rid of them, and I'm not dismissing them. So I might consider them in the future as as I get, uh, get more level 100s and I power up a little further. So all this stuff, not very exciting. This one might be something a little more useful. The downside to this one is I have a ton of level 100 gunslinger rocket launchers so it's nice but i got a bunch of ready we'll keep them you know we can break them down for materials later which we will more than likely do but for now it is what it is three days koala always good and we'll get some glitter all right what do we got left 18 left lots of tickets That's very exciting i got a ton of tickets i can't spend them quick enough um I'm not going to look at those right now because I, I don't know. If, I'm not going to be sure if they're going to be useful until I go visit everything. And like this one, you know, maybe a lower level gun. I don't think so. I think what I've been talking about is more about like amulets and, you know, some of the SR-11 things when they come out. But um, probably not so much on the weapons. Maybe even not the armors, but we'll have to have to do some comparisons there. There might be some good armors that are, are better at epic or even rare. All right, so we're getting lots of good materials. And this is, this right here is why I like this event, just because there's so much good stuff. And like 200 blue glitter, like yay whoop-de-doo, but at the same time, it's 
it's free. You're basically just playing the game, doing your dailies, and you got 200 free glitter. Oh, you got an epic weapon. Oh, you got 50 golden turds. And you got one day of premium. So even though, you know, if you don't want to pay, you're still getting a lot of good stuff. So th that is why I like this event. And for me, you know, the paying the 10 bucks, you know, you're supporting the game as well as you're getting a lot more good stuff. So this is one of my top two events for sure. This is probably my, my top, my number two. And my number one is the card events, which is going to take place in Zero City starting tomorrow, maybe. Not 100% sure on that. By the time this video goes live, I would say today. Um, it's just, you know, you get the, in the, um, the holograms are the same thing as prototypes in this game actually the other way around the prototypes are the same time as holograms which are the same thing in runes and hustle castle so those are my favorite events this is my second favorite event um and both of those you have an option of paying 9.99 and i'm like i said i'm okay with it now we're going to come back to this in a moment come back to that because why not 600 food i haven't been grinding anything to use that food yet but in the future i will for sure good damage all right, so now we're working our way towards 200 more golden turds. So we got four left. We got this chest here, which is going to be what? I don't even know what it is. An epic and a chance for legendary. Two of them, as a matter of fact. I think I have a bunch of these in my inventory already. So I got like all those things. I could open them and they could be useful, but I haven't because again, once we get to SR11, I think those chests might be filled with stuff that's going to be more useful to me. So I'm kind of holding off on those until, until SR11 comes up. Because I'm going to jump on that one pretty quickly because it is... Uh, it's pretty big. It's it's a lot of big changes. You know, who, who knows how they're going to implement it in this game, but um, in Hustle Castle, it was quite huge. All right, five gems with energy charge. Very nice. 40% chance of jinxing the target and nearby enemies. If the jinx target has more than 25% health, it takes 80% more damage for eight seconds. If the jinx target has less than 25%, it cannot be resurrected. Yes, I do like this one. And this one, I'm pretty sure, is going to be part of my squad when I get up to uh, another level 100. And then what do we have down here? We got a chance to buy something, which we'll look at in a moment, because they will show me over here on the right side. From what I heard, it's not very good, but I don't know what it is. So this one, once the unit is killed, resurrects a random enemy. So I like this because it gives you a chance at a resurrect without a resurrect. So I could put like a restore on this one, or I could use that other weapon to do you know some damage. But I also get to do some resurrections. So I do like this one. And look at that, all energy charges. That's huge. Five energy charge stickers. Humongous. That is a really good uh, roll on that one. So a chance to resurrect with 45 plus 17. So that's already 62,000 because this is 22,000 charge. Plus we're going to have all these, which we can power up plus whatever gear they're going. So this is, that is a, I think that's a, a definite guarantee for me to use. I'm excited about that one. So if that means I got good rolls going, you know, I got a good RNG number because I got that good roll. Maybe everybody has the same kind of sticker slots, but that was good for me. I'm going to go ahead and open this up right now. I don't think I've ever done that before in this, uh, in this game. First day opening up these big items. And... Yep. So, I mean, this is all good stuff. Sure, glitter is good. You know, you got that's one-tenth of a, uh, a legendary item there. And we got these guys, but you know, that's you're expecting to get some of the big stuff, and you didn't. So again, I'm never, I don't get disappointed in those because I know the chances of me getting anything useful is pretty, are like extremely useful. It's pretty slim. It's a nice surprise when it happens, but that unfortunately right there is fairly typical. Actually, I think that was a little bit better than typical because usually you get lower level glitter and lower level items. So. That, that actually was a little bit high. So on my one to five scale, that was probably a, a two, maybe. Uh, maybe a three, I'm not sure. But not fantastic, but not horrible. So that's it. That's what this game is. It's gonna be, or this event. It's gonna be three weeks of the same thing. Just grinding, doing the dailies, doing the weeklies, getting up as high as possible. And once you get, let's see how slow this is gonna be. I'm sure you guys already looked at all this. Once we get to level like 65-ish, we're at the end. You know, there's some really good stuff along the way, which we'll check out as we get to. There's our legendary health, which would be nice. Got lots of more money chests. I need to start spending these. 10 million. Again, I got a bunch of these in my inventory. So I'll probably start using these and putting on some stickers on some of my top level gear once I decide what I'm going to start running. Um, I got a bunch of, I forget what it's called, but, you know, epic pulls from the, uh, the shopping mall, which I need to start doing. 
and I will getting, be getting some of those in my squad for sure soon. But you know, basically every five levels, once you get to 75, you start getting you know, another chest with a chance at some of those big items. So typically, I mean, I'm already at 30, no, I'm at 17, and I'm two days in, but it doesn't count because it's really, um, I'm at that level because I've completed a bunch of the dailies and the weeklies. So where does that put me in five days? It would put me one week in. I mean, I don't even know what I'm doing per day, to be honest with you. I would say I could be at 25, maybe. It's probably going to be higher, but possibly level 25, which then takes me to 75. So all I have to do is average 25 a week to get to here, which is my main goal. And then anything past that is fantastic. Um, to get, you know, you don't want to pass up all of these good things for sure. So that's my goal. We'll be grind just doing the daily grind and see what I can get. So I'm going to leave it there because obviously I do tend to ramble and this has gone on quite a while already. And um, I will go ahead and look at a lot of that gear in the future. Oh, one other thing. One other thing. Um, I found when I upgraded myself, I, this is something I knew about, but I completely forgot about. I upgraded myself to, you know, three level 100 fighters. And all of a sudden, I started facing people in the arena, or Mimosa, sorry, with 6 by 100. I started facing a guy, you know, my 18, 1.8 million is facing 2.5 million and a 2.7 million. And I was like, what the heck? Why am I facing people with, you know, 6 by 100? And then I started facing some other ones. Then I started facing people with like all kinds of weird stuff to level 100 and then level 40s in their squad. And it was just all messed up. And then all of a sudden, it dawned on me that there are some rules for, you know, splitting brackets. Like right now, I'm splitting brackets because I have the 100 and then I have 85. And then basically, I'm in a 94 bracket right now. But the re, well, I should be in a 94 bracket. But the reason I'm not is because I got my 100s. And then I had um, three, two 85s and then an 84. So I ended up like spanning multiple brackets. And when you span more than th or three or more brackets, you end up getting put in your highest possible bracket. So my highest fighters are 100, so I'm in the six by 100. So I should be out of that soon because right now I have, um, here we go, got a 86, which I leveled her up, 100, 85, 100, 100, 85, 86. So I have three 100s and two 86s. So three, two 86s, and then looking over here, I have an 87. So now I should be okay. 86, 87, 87, 100, 100, 100. I just got there. So I think I'm no longer in the six by 100 bracket. Now I think my average is at like 93, almost like 93. Then I can get my average up to 94.8. And that average is the top six fighters of your squad. Not necessarily the, the top six fighters in here. It's just the top six fighters everywhere. So I have an 87 in here training. So that one actually counts. So given that I'm no longer spanning three brackets, I'm in the 100 bracket and then the 94 bracket, and then I'm not covering the 85 bracket anymore or even below that. So because of that, I should be back in the 94 bracket. I should be back to fighting the people I was fighting before. So my 1.8 million will be a little bit stronger than it was before when I was fighting, you know, these 2.5s, which I have no chance of beating. So um, just so you know, if you're, if you're somebody that knows about brackets or are interested in them, you need to make sure you don't have your division of the power of your top level person and your bottom end level. And your end basically is the number of Rogers that you have in Rogers place um, that you can have in Rogers place. Uh, you need to make sure they're not spanning three or more brackets because they do you get put in that highest number no matter what so i just want to get that out there because it was something that i knew about but i forgot about and it kind of messed me up for a few days okay with that let's go ahead and talk about the giveaway uh, i'll make this quick a uh, little recap as always we do the uh, like at the beginning of the video do the uh, golden turd giveaways every week those are given by the american dad facebook page you can see their link down below in the description and I have a Google form down below in the description. Go ahead and click on that, open it up. And I need three things from you. If you want to participate in the uh, giveaway, give me your in-game name up here. You can give me that or give me anything you want. But what I really need, click on this gear icon, this ID here, I need to have this number. 1800476 is mine. So give me your number um, because that identifies you in the game. That's how you're going to get your winnings. And then give me your guess. So the range, I just give you a random number range. You have to just give me your guess in there. So the range this week is going to be 25,000 to 75,000, 25,000 to 75,000. So pick any random number between there, put it in that form. And then, excuse me, five days after this event goes live, I'll go ahead and close it and then announce the winner next week. So good luck to everybody. Good luck in the giveaway. Good luck in the event. Hopefully you get all the good stuff and, you know, hopefully you get the, uh, the good items out of that uh, backpack, which 
most of us probably won't get that, but hopefully uh, you are the one who does. So good luck with that. So thank you everybody for watching and I will catch up with you later. This has been QC Runner for QC Runner Games and I will talk to you later. See you.